So boxing backwards is really more for straight up defense. Mostly a defense. It's, there's no real offense. You can't really create an offensive move. You can set traps <coughs> to go to offense, but you, you pretty much is like defensive, being able to still take advantage but going backwards. Got it. Mm. And what about moving side to side? Side to side, and yeah. And training that. Yeah. Um, side to side backwards. movement is, is uh, number one. Because technically, you don't want to put your back on the rope if you don't have to. If you got, if you, if I'm fighting a puncher, I don't want to make my stop and let him load his punches. So the moment he backs me up, I stop, make you change your angle again. Now right. he has so to change. So now I'm, I'm still in this direction, right. and you've moved, and you could probably and now, come in. Right. Hook. And my angle changed, so now you have to make a change because the angle just changed. Right. By the right. time you got there, you already gave I'm me a hook, and hook. I'm out. Right. Okay. So that's really important. Being able to train that that uh, training your uh, your fast twitch muscles of your leg yeah. to be able to to move side to side. Uh, without sliding your toes. Without we were talking sliding. about that before. This is a myth. I don't know. Some coaches teach it this way. Some coaches don't. Right. Should you slide your back foot no. in boxing? No. Why? You shouldn't drag show us, your feet. Show us sliding or dragging your foot in boxing and why, you, okay. why it's a lot bad. Show us the bad way and show us the good way of moving. The, um, a lot of people, a lot of them, they want to, they drag on their jab. Like their forward step is <clears throat> dragging drag we can see how his foot is dragging right, right. there okay and what it does it it, it kind of keeps him grounded it gives you a sense of grounding okay that's how come you do it but if i want to be more dynamic and let's say i want to be on top of you i don't want to really let you get away i want to kind of be on my toes i want to get in quick and i want to uh, exit quick also in and out you can't drag your feet you know, stick and move, you can't drag your feet. You have to be on your toes. Uh, Manny Pacquiao, he doesn't drag his feet. No, he jumps in, in and out. He's in, in and, and out, out. Yeah. just yeah. like that. So you can't drag your feet and make, uh, you know, dynamic strike, you know, really make quick moves, quick defense. You know, you can't strike and be out of trouble at the same time by dragging your feet. So most importantly is, can you show us the right way of moving backwards and forwards? Mm -hmm. Show us the position of, of your back foot and your front foot. Okay. So that's there we go, guys. You could see how he is loading all of his neural tension and neural drive right through that big toe right there. Not different than basketball, right? Mm -hmm. The flexor hallucis longus, which is the, the toe muscle, is the most powerful muscle. People think your calf muscles are very important. Mm -hmm. Actually, your flexor hallucis longus, which is the toe muscle, is the one that needs to give the power. And then you're getting that neural drive through the tibial nerve, which comes off the back of the knee and, and gives a reverse power to your gluteus maximus through the sciatic nerve. It's kind of driving back up again.